Almost every school has its own scary stories associated with its building. In one small town, there was a legend among the students that on the 15th of every lunar month at night strange things happened in the school. The statue in front of the entrance has rotating eyes, the number of steps in the stairwells changes, and in the laboratories, blood starts flowing from the taps instead of water. And if, during this time, someone dares to go into the far toilet on the first floor, that person will never be seen again. One day a group of children decided to see if they were telling the truth or just stories. They gathered on the 15th of the lunar month and approached the school around midnight. The eyes of the statue at the entrance looked to the left, as they walked past it, the children paid attention on purpose. After waiting a while, they made sure that the eyes had not moved a millimeter. It's all fairy tales, said one of the boys. Let's see some more. They entered the building and came to the stairs. One step, two, three. Thirteen steps in all. That's right, there must be thirteen, like all the stairs in the building. Then the boys went into the laboratory. They opened one of the taps, and water gushed out. Yes, we shouldn't have come, the boys' fears finally dissipated, and they decided, without much hope, to check the farthest toilet on the first floor. But before the door to the toilet, their fervor subsided somewhat. Although they all said they didn't believe anything, no one was in a hurry to go inside. Finally, one boy, Jack, said he was not afraid of anything, opened the door, and went into the toilet. His friends looked at the clock. It was exactly one o'clock in the morning. A minute later the boy came out of the toilet. There's nothing, it's all fairy tales. The boys, laughing, left. When they left the school, they scattered to their homes. One of the boys in the group, Eric, took one more look at the statue at the entrance before he left. Her eyes were still looking to the left. Fairy tales, he whispered dismissively, and headed home. The next morning Jack's mother called him. Look, Jack was with you last night, wasn't he? He still hasn't come home. The boys sensed that something was wrong. Eventually they decided to tell their parents and teachers about their experiment last night. Together with the adults they went to the school building. What are you saying? The statue near the school has eyes looking to the right, said the school principal after listening to the children's story. How so? But yesterday we specially approached, they were looking to the left. When we entered the gate, everyone saw that the eyes were really looking to the right. But there were still stairs. The boys quickly ran to the stairs. One, two, three. Twelve. Yes, this staircase has always had twelve steps, said the school principal. It's one rung shorter than the other stairs, the architects made a design mistake. That's impossible. The water faucet in the lab. Remembered one boy. Upon entering the lab, everyone looked at the faucet. There was a red puddle in the sink underneath it. But. But Jack walked into that toilet. Everyone went numb with fear. Let's go quickly, let's see. The director felt that the matter was getting serious. They pushed open the door. The first thing they saw was Jack's mutilated body. His eyes were wide open, horror in them. His neck had been slid across. All the blood drained from his body, his face as pale as paper. His insides, twisted outward, lay in an already desiccated shell. Jack's mother screamed and fainted. Some of the teachers present could not restrain their vomiting. Eric looked at the clock on Jack's hand without blinking. It showed exactly one hour. The time when he entered the toilet, 